Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Healing with Hina. This is Dr. Hina, PG scholar in IIT Kolkata. कहाँ जाता है ऑर्गेनम पे जिसकी पकड़ अच्छी होती है उसकी प्रैक्टिस जबरदस्त होती है तो अगर ऐसा है तो हम सभी ऑर्गेनम और अफोरिज्म से बखूबी बखूबी वाकिफ है बखूबी जानते हैं कुछ स्टूडेंट्स तो ऐसे भी होते हैं जिन्हें अगर आधी रात में भी उठाकर अफोरिज्म पूछा जाए तो वो बता सकते हैं अफोरिज्म टू क्या है टू में क्या लिखा है पर उस स्टूडेंट की क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस अच्छी होगी ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है तो क्यों ऐसा होता है कि अफोरिजम्स का वर्ड टू वर्ड याद होने के बाद भी हम ऑर्गेनम के प्रिंसिपल्स अपनी प्रैक्टिस में अप्लाई नहीं कर पाते ऐसा इसीलिए क्योंकि हम ऑर्गेनम को जानते हैं वी नो बट वी आर नॉट वेल वर्स विद इट अब डॉक्टर हैनेमन ने इतनी मेहनत से ऑर्गेनम के सिक्स एडिशंस सिर्फ इसलिए तो नहीं लिखे ताकि हम यूजी और पीजी की एग्जाम्स पास कर डिग्री ले सके डेफिनेटली नॉट देर इज समथिंग मोर बियॉन्ड इट बट वॉट इट इज इन सभी सवालों के जवाब मिलेंगे आज के लाइव सेशन में सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन अ बिग राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज फॉर द वन who feels proud to introduce himself as teacher of organ and of medicine professor and hod of department of organ and of medicine and also director of national institute of homeopathy dr subhas singh Well, thank you, Doctor Hina. <coughs> thank you for uh, having me here. Well, today what we are going to discuss is something that I have just discussed few days back in a seminar in Delhi, and why I have brought it back today is because there are some of the very senior homeopaths. like dr khurana who is chairman of ncs dr bakshi sps bakshi who was the former president of cch and people like him were there in the audience and they told me he rather than saying ki organ is important homeopathy should be done in a proper hanimanian way what the stress was that why don't you give this lecture maybe in the same form or in a different form wherever you go because what i was given as a feedback that this actually tells about what is the relevance of organ how homeopathy should really be practiced in today's time when homeopathy is having different challenges at different level and especially organ which is being considered as more of a theoretical book more of a book which is required to be studied to pass out exams <coughs> what i am trying to share is that this is not what organon is all about organon is something without which you cannot study you cannot practice you cannot understand homeo so these are the background well i have told you many times the case of dr clara louis but those who are coming online for them i am sharing it again that at one point of time a lady a young lady came to dr hany uh, kent's clinic and she was studying homeopathy so she came with certain problems and then she said narrated the whole complaints of her to master hanuman uh, master kent and after listening to her 
noting down all the symptoms as he used to do. Then Kent asked him, since when you are taking like this? Now this young lady was quite naturally very surprised that I have not told him that I have taken any medicine before. I have just told him my complaints. And how come he is asking me since when I am taking like a cyst? How he used to know? How he came to know this? So she asked him. Then Kent explained because of a very simple reason that whatever symptoms you are giving, those symptoms are verbatim of the proving of like a cyst. Now, in a patient, some symptoms of lachesis can appear definitely. But it will not appear exactly as it is in one patient. It can happen only while two. So, your problem is that you have taken lachesis more than it was required. Now, this, the lady was so impressed and ultimately she became second wife of, of uh, Ken. And similarly, there are so many instances where if you listen to those anecdotes, then you will be surprised to know ki how this can be known by anybody. How it is possible to know. Again, this also I have shared with you. Dr. H.D. at that time was not practicing homeopathy. And then he had a fall long time back. And after that, he was suffering some paralysis-like symptoms of one part, one side of the body. So he consulted different physicians. And he was not getting very good results. So he wrote a letter. At that time, you know, this mobile WhatsApp all was not so much known. So people used to write letter and people used to reply letter. So, and there was no blue tick also at that time. So, Hanuman was written a letter by Dr. H.D. And H.D. narrated the whole complaint. After going through all the complaints, Hanuman wrote back asking him, what are the diseases that you suffered from in childhood? Did you ever have a skin, a skin disease in your childhood? Now, this was very shocking to Dr. H.D. He was surprised that how can this person know what I was suffering from? He didn't know where I belong, my childhood. So what it is all about? Then ultimately, when he came in contact with any man and wanted to study homeopathy, so he asked him that how? Why you ask me this question? How you got an idea that I can have a childhood symptom like this? Now, Hanuman's answer was very simple. And this answer can come only from somebody who knows the homeopathic philosophy, knows the organ and property. His answer was that you are telling me that you are suffering from these complaints after a fall. This cannot happen. Neither from practice of medicine, nor from our knowledge of cause and effect relationship. This cannot happen. Because your effect is not having correlation with the cause. This fall cannot produce this result and this larger result and for such a long period of time. So there has to be something else. And that something else cannot be anything else but involvement of some sort. Some hazard. So that is I tried to inquire whether there was any suppression which may have led to this present fall. Now, where from Hanuman got this idea? This idea can we get it today? Can we be so competent to treat diseases like this? Now, answers to all these questions are if we read our books properly, if we read our organ and properly. Let me tell you a case. A person 
came to a homeopathic doctor saying, I am suffering from constipation. And when he asked, what type of constipation? Then he narrated, my stools are large, hard, dry, as it were. And on further case taking, he came to know that he is having thirst. He is a very thirsty type of person. So he further asked, what type of thirst? So he said, he thirsts for large quantities of cold water at long intervals. And then when he narrated all the complaints, he also said, yeah, I have aggravation from slightest of portion. So much so that if even if I might open my eyes or move my eyeballs, then also I have aggravation. Now there cannot be a better case than this for a homeopath. You can think that the patient may have studied Allen's keynote and then he has come because he was speaking in the language of Allen's keynote. So actually, Whatever anybody will do, quite nice. and with much confidence, because Brainia was given. Because Brainia, when it was given, it was given with confidence. Ki, haan, all the cases are Brainia, so Brainia is surely going to go. But then there was a shock waiting for the prescriber. Because nothing happened. No aggravation, no amelioration, no change. Now naturally, in today's time, when such things happen, the first question is raised about whether homeopathy me kuch hai. Ya jo hota hai, wo by chance hota hai. And then we claim ki it is cured by homeopathy. So here also, the question was raised ki whether homeopathy really works, whether the principles are okay, whether the instructions are okay. Now, what can be the reason behind it? So, naturally, the physician who prescribed, he again took the case, again saw that everything was perfect, even the medicine was genuine, there were no obstacles. Nothing obstructing the action of the medicine. And in spite of that, it was not working. So why should there be an, any inaction? No action. So like any other physician, he thought, I'll give some other medicine. Maybe be complimentary to Brainia. Maybe some other medicine. And that also didn't work. That also didn't work. Now the question comes, ki what went wrong? Was he not doing things properly? He was doing things. He has taken case properly. He has evaluated. He has formed the totality. He has prescribed properly. Even the dose selection was perfect. Potency was perfect. What he has not studied was, what he has not kept in mind was, that medicines like Econa, Brainia, Hyoscyamus, Ignatia, Sulfur, these medicines have alternating action. And in such cases, it is very clearly mentioned in Organon that it is not enough that you give one dose because in some cases, it may happen that no improvement follows. And when there is no improvement, he will in most cases soon affect his object by giving a fresh and equally small dose of the same thing. So what was required, what he missed was that he should have given one more dose of the same medicine rather than challenging himself whether my thing was wrong or right. And this knowledge cannot come unless you have gone through your organ. Not with this intention that I am studying only for passing exam, but with this, that this is something which is going to direct me in my day-to-day -day practice. Now, don't you think that this situation can come to you or to anybody in our day-to-day -day practice? And very often, if we have not studied our organ and in the correct spirit, then you will make mistakes. 
This is a very common make, a mistake we make. And see the bracket? Even in acute disease, you need not wait. You see the action is not coming and then you can repeat. But only once. Because we all know that in acute disease, we can repeat, but where we have to stop? This again, organon tells us. Yes. When just the first sign of amelioration starts, there you have to stop the medicine. Because then the action of amelioration will continue. We all know, and I firmly believe, and I always share with everybody wherever I get an opportunity, that practice of homeopathy is very easy. In accordance with homeopathic method, if you do it as you wish, then it is problem. Because your wish may not be the same with the next one. But if you follow the principles, then it is very easy. And it has magical results. But again, let me share with you with my experience of more than 25 years of teaching organic. There cannot be any tougher task than teaching organon to the duffers. <laughs> Especially to those who in the first year, in the beginning, they don't know what is homeopathy. Somehow has got a chance and then are studying homeopathy. Mostly because of accessory circumstances. <laughs> They are forced to study. And then very soon, within a year or two, guided by the circumstance again, and later, they realize the organon manages that. So it loses its real meaning. And then teaching them organ. <coughs> there cannot be a tougher task. <coughs> Why study organon? Because of a very simple reason. Two reasons, in fact. The main reason for the practical reason. So that you pass exam. And what actually is the main reason, but has somehow become less main reason, is that you cannot practice homeopathy without organ. The question again now is what is organ? Whether it is a book or it is a philosophy or it is a guideline which guides us. Really speaking, it contains everything. It is definitely a book. It contains philosophy. It contains instructions. So if we, we don't go through the aphorisms and we just analyze the content of organs, let us forget a forest, mix it up. Then the whole organ content can be divided into four categories. The first is discoveries, where totally something new has been given, which was not given earlier, not discussed earlier, not narrated earlier, and if narrated, not in this profile. Not in this format. And some of the examples are classification of disease, drug proofing, treatment, one sided, mental, intermittent, drug dynamization. These are the discoveries that is the content of organ. And then there are directions or instructions how to do drug proofing, how to take up a case. How to prepare a particular type of medicine in a particular type of potential scale. Now all these are given here. Then there are instructions about diabetes. Instructions about how to approach and how to deal with the patient who are having mental component in a very prominent way. And then we have theoretical or philosophical. Where he is explaining why I am talking in this way. 
where he is explaining ki when I am saying ki person as a whole has to be considered, then why I am talking like this? Why I am talking about vital force? Why? Why I am talking about individual ideas? Philosophical instructions are the content. And lastly, it contains the defenses. When he is talking about, he is giving argument. He is trying to compare with the then system of medicine. And trying to prove that my instructions, my system is the best. Because of these reasons. But then he has approached it in very step by step way. Nowhere he has come to say directly that you do practice homeopathy because I am saying. He has tried to prove it logically. That homeopathy is the best. That is why in many of the beginning aphorisms, you will not find use of the word homeopathy in one single place. And then we have, he has made the task very clear. Then he is talking, if these tasks are to be undertaken, then these can be fulfilled only by homeopathy. If you want to cure, then homeopathy. Ideal cure, homeopathy. Mission, you want to fulfill your mission, then homeopathy. Now another problem that homeopathy faces today and in a much bigger way is the different ways in which homeopathic principles and organon has been understood and the ways in which they have been practically applied. Now Hanuman wrote organon with a very simple thing in mind that people who are dissatisfied with the then system of medicine, who understand the lacunas and drawbacks of the then system of medicine, they will study homeopathy or my book, organ. And after reading it, they will be convinced that homeopathy is the best system and then they will also know how to practice homeopathy. And next day onward, they will start practicing homeopathy. This was the basic instruction, intention, with which Organon was written. But later on, Organon started to be analyzed on a very microscopic level. So much so, it was being studied in such a threadbare level that we now have a five and a half year course in which Organon is read in the, all the years. And that is again not enough. Then we have three years post-graduation. Reading only organ. And then also people think, no, no, no. You should also have PhD. Outcome? After this eight and a half years of study, I'll not say organ, of homeopathy. Are we becoming better homeopath than our earlier generation? That is a question need to be answered by everybody. To yourself. And if not, if the answer is no, then what is stopping us? What is stopping us? The, we cannot prove in a scientific way how homeopathic medicine acts. Is it stopping us really to be a better clinician? Our modern medical science has expanded, upgraded, become more modernized. Is that stopping us? Or somewhere, our conviction to a system which fate has selected for us We are not giving enough what is required to become a good homeopath to it. That is a question that needs to be asked by all who practice homeopathy or who are looking forward to practice homeopathy. Now, some of the questions that any practitioner of today's time will have to face. Which medicine is to be given? 
कौन सा मेडिसिन दे एवरी टाइम आफ्टर केयर टेकिंग वी कान कम टू वन सिंगल मेडिसिन अपरेंटली कंपीटिंग मेडिसिन कम some medicines which is covering mental symptoms more some which is covering modalities more some which is covering other features more so which medicine out of all or should we go for the easiest way out char medicine compete kar raha hai to charo ko milao ek ek paas paas boond pani mein dalo five drops of all the four medicine if that is the way out then why can't we have a universal medicine Take a balti, put one drop of all the known homeopathic medicine, pour a mix, karo. Let that be medicine for all the troubles. What is the type of diseases? The patient, which has come, we very often forget. When we say diagnosis, we diagnose it as different pathological. Say we say typhoid, we say cancer, we say this, we say that. we forget that there is another type of diagnosis that we does and until you diagnose that according to homeopathic classification be your approach to treatment because for acute disease our approach is different for chronic disease our approach is different for individual acute for that need to be decided how many times the medicine has to be given one dose every 5 minutes every is own way and all those who are good based then prescribe karte hain dabba they also claim they are successful to hum kaun sa rakh number 1 number 2 kaun sa se bhi work zyada important hai why if i am choosing this way why i am choosing this way if i am choosing this way then why i am choosing this you know very often all over india maybe all over world people have an idea that there is something called calcutta school of homeopathy bengal school of homeopathy and that it is is different from what other people do as homeopathy now i am born and brought up here and i have studied homeopathy here and i am second generation homeopath my father was also a homeopath learned in bengal and i can tell you that there is nothing called bengal school of homeopathy there is nothing called calcutta school of homeopathy but there are certain small small things which make us different not principal principal it is same but basic wise approach wise it doesn't make it make us different whenever in any crowd you have a discussion argument or you ask a question and then people answer the way they are answering by that you can identify ki calcutta ka hai ki nahi agar argument hai to way they will argue isse samajh mein aata hai ki wo kahan ka calcutta ka hai because homeopaths of here bengal they believe one thing कि अगर उसूलों पे आज आए तो टकराना अच्छा इज समबडी रेजिंग क्वेश्चन चैलेंजिंग योर बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स तो उससे टकराना अच्छा और अगर अपने हो तो अपनापन नजर आना अच्छा कान में बोल दिया आई लव यू इज नॉट इन अभी नोएडा में आई आर वन सेमिनार तो आई आस्ट ए क्वेश्चन और यू नो समाइम्स ऑडियंस इज इन दार्ट नॉट लिटरली लाइट ऑफ करके रखते तो वन ऑफ द पर्सन 
पीछे से वो आंसर की एंड यू टेल मी इंट्यूशन जो भी बोलो वो पीछे से जवाब दिया तो वही मुझे लगा कौन है नैच आई सेट जस्ट लाइक तो जी सर हम लोग आगे आ जाओ बिकॉज वो आंसर अपना परिचय सब कुछ उसके आंसर में तो दैट इज वन थिंग विच मेक्स कैलकाटा डिफरेंट दैट इज अनदर थिंग विच मेक्स कैलकाटा डिफरेंट बिकॉज दिस इज वन प्लेस वे आर एवरीबडी वेदर ही इज ए प्रैक्टिशनर विथ फिफ्टी रुपीज फीस और ही इज ए प्रैक्टिशनर विथ फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज फीस एवरीबडी राइट्स द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन क्लियर कट प्रिस्क्रिप्शन छुपा उपा के नहीं नो कोर्ट एंड गिव इट टू द पेशेंट You know why? And hamlo earlier, sometimes back when I used to go to my seniors' clinic when I was a student and in my early days to learn from them. That was one thing which was very, very, very peculiar because I was close to Doctor Dubey. So when he used to write a medicine, to wo medicine hamare dimag mein aata tha. अगर हम एल पढ़े हैं अगर बोरिक पर हैं या बेसिक बुक्स आई है होम्योपैथी वॉज नॉट समथिंग विच इज फुल इन मिस्ट्री शाउडेड इन मिस्ट्री होम्योपैथी वॉज समथिंग विच इज वेरी इजी इफ यू हैव स्टडीड दिस मेडिसिन दैट मेडिसिन यू विल ऑल्सो थिंक आई विल ऑल्सो थिंक दैट इज वॉट मेक्स द कैलकाटा डिफरेंट कैलकाटा स्कूल so what the patient will say and what has to be understood from him exactly what this is what makes the medical science especially homeopathy case taking specially what make case taking an art sometimes it is asked ki homeopathy is an art and science science what is the art art in homeopathy and what is the science in homeopathy there is a long discussion can be on but easily speaking Case taking is an art. That to me, that is the main thing understood from it. What? What it has to be understood. He says, "I am not good," but the doctor is happy. He is he is good. He is better. This is real thing. I am not telling you stories. How this has to be understood? How this has to be learned? this has to be learned this has to be known by or the <coughs> do we have to give medicine in each and every case no homeopathic medicine will not be given in every case of the disease like every other system homeopathy also has limitation homeopathy also works in certain cases it do not work in certain cases and in those cases where it works homeopathy is indicated there also medicine may not be required in every case that you have to know so where it is not required if you give where it is required and if you do not give definitely the result will not be as you should be expecting now protocol word is very commonly used nowadays research protocol especially those who are doing md They must be known. So, organon contains all the protocols of treatment of various type of diseases: acute, chronic, sporadic, epidemic, one-sided, external, internal, mental. Every case, every name has different approach. Now, how I will know? The medicine I have given, हमने जो दवा दिया है, वो सही नहीं. Now, a person who has not studied organ, he can say, "Sir, the दवा जब काम नहीं करेगा तो समझ जाएंगे कि दवा गलत है." तो अभी बताएँ. Alternative, दवा काम नहीं किया, medicine was correct. because what was required was another dose so that answer is nullified so how i will know 
कि कहां पे देना है कहां पे मेरा मेडिसिन करेक्ट है कहां पे मेरा मेडिसिन करेक्ट नहीं After the first medicine, some aggravation occurred, some new minor symptoms observed should be stopped, change the potency or change the medicine. Kuch aggravation hua, kuch naya symptoms aya, kuch minor changes aya. Abhe yaha pe teen choice hai, change the potency or change the medicine. Kya karna hai? Question is not only kya karna hai? Now, this can be answered only in organs. And this confusion cannot come in the mind of a person who has studied organs. In 249, it is very clearly says That produces new and troublesome symptoms not pertaining to the disease to be cured. New symptoms have, but those are not part of a symptomatology of the disease. They cannot be considered as homeopathically selected. It must either, if the aggravation be considerable, before coming to that, कब एंटीडोट करेंगे? When should be antidote? Any idea? When should be antidote? When there are aggravations? No, that is not enough because aggravations are of different types. <coughs> Medicinal aggravation. Medicinal aggravations are there because if it is disease aggravation, your antidote is not going to. If it is homeopathic aggravation, you will be fool if you are thinking of antidote. So only one situation that is where there is a medicinal aggravation. Now all medicinal aggravations require antidote. Number one. Number two, what with what to antidote? How to antidote? Because you have a universal antidote. You have antidoting based on the symptoms. You have specific antidote. And all these are indicated in specific cases. Which case which has to be given? You cannot do it by tossing, you know, coin. <coughs> toss karke dekhte hai, kya hai. That again is mentioned here very clearly. It must be partially neutralized as soon as possible by an antidote. Before giving the next remedy, chosen more accurately according to similarity of action. If the troublesome symptoms be not very violent, if it is violent, then you have to go for the antidote. Most of the medicines have some antidote specifically indicated, not one, more than one. Because again, that is has to be depending upon the symptoms. But if it is not violent, aggravation said. Unwanted symptoms, as I have said here. Some new symptoms are there, aggravations are there. Requires antidote. But in such cases, what is required to be done is the next remedy must be given immediately in order to take the place of improperly selected one. That will act as an antidote. That medicine will act as the antidote. Now, this decision has to be taken by a person in a learned way, not by tossing a coin. And where this is required, this has to be done. Where this is required, this has to be done. Now, there is another case. There is a lean, thin lady, menopausal age. <coughs> And talking continuously. What bhakto? Bhakto niya. Sometimes this talking coherent, sometimes this talking is incoherent. But she continuously talks. Abusive. Keeps undressing. She is not very careful about her dress, how she dresses. Barbara Kapra kholdes. 
एपिसोड्स ऑफ एल्कोहल अब्यूज ऑफ एल्कोहल कई पार्टी था and after that all these troubles have started and then sometimes there are maniacal symptoms shouting violent throwing things and some sort of symptoms this is the picture we have ab question ye hai ki yahan kya do lekesis because some symptoms are there of lekesis और हायसेमस में भी कॉजेशन एल्कोहलिज्म है हा हायसेमस कौन समय से नाउ दिस वॉज अ केस आपके पास आया आपने अच्छे से केस टेकिंग किया एंड द पेशेंट्स रिलेटिव एंड अदर्स दे वर हैविंग वेरी हाई एक्सपेक्टेशन बिकॉज यू हैव अ high fees proper pr so patient came to you aapne case taking ka jo bhi system system hai wo sab kar kara ke and the picture hai hai samas aapne ek baar confirm kar liya ki alcoholism history cover kar raha hai ki nahi hai samas pe hai samas ne cover kar to hai samas diya and tomorrow you are going to present a seminar in somewhere to bole ki aap unko ek baar 3 baje aake bata dijiye to patient came to you at three o'clock patient ne patient ke ghar wala bole kaisa hai first class abhi kaisa hai bole doctor sir after taking your medicine aur raat tak to dev patient was sleeping ekdam aur subah se ekdam normal ki tarah kuch jaisa lag hi nahi raha tha ki something like this had happened तो जब भी आप बड़े डॉक्टर होते हैं तो दो चार असिस्टेंट स्टूडेंट रहते हैं तो यू गिव दम स्माइल समझा एंड देन पेशेंट पूछा कि कब आए फिर दोबारा वही शुड नो नीड टू कम वही वर्क इन सिंगल सो लाइक दिस एक डायलॉग अलग दिए और चले पेशेंट ठीक हो गए क्या आप चले गए अपना लेक्चर लेक्चर दिए सेमिनार दिया उसमें ये केस भी बोल दिए वर्क्स लाइक मैजिक और बहुत ताली भी मिला फिर यू केम बैक यू स्टार्टेड योर प्रैक्टिस आफ्टर 15 डेज द सेम पेशेंट केम बैक बोले क्या हुआ बोले डॉक्टर साहब एक और पार्टी था वहां पे शी थॉट क्या आई एम ऑल ओके तो शी टू कप बाई सिप ऑफ एल्कोहल तब तक उसका हस्बैंड बोला कि नहीं तुम मत पी तो बोले ठीक है ठीक है नहीं पीएंगे और एक सिप और लेके वो फिर छोड़ दिया नाउ आप नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग से ये फिर ऑल कंप्लेन्स आर स्टार्ट अब वही जिसको वो कन्विंस कर रहे थे कि वहां पे थी लाइक दिस नाउ दे आर आस्किंग सर क्या हो गया तो सर ने बोला ऐसा होता है पढ़ो ठीक से पढ़ो बिकॉज सर ने ऑर्गेनेंट पढ़ा नहीं अगर ऑर्गेनेंट पढ़े होते तो उनको पता होता कि वन साइडेड डिजीज सो कॉल्ड मेंटल डिजीज अगर उसमें एक्यूट एक्सर्वेशन आफ्टर सम एक्साइटिंग कॉज एंड यू हैव टू गिव सम एक्यूट मेडिसिन इन दैट केस नॉट नॉन एंटीसोरिक मेडिसिन from a class of non antisoric medicine after that the patient will always be normal but that need to be immediately followed by because if you don't follow then the patient will with slightest cause slightest cause will again have this episode and now when this episode will start it will be very difficult to cure almost impossible to cure even by the most deep acting antisoric to so that which could have been easily handled by you had you followed health samas with any of the medicine antisoric medicine aapki agyanta mein you have made the patient from bad to worse and almost irreparable later he needed antisoric but patient was better so antisoric was not given 
you will keep up repairing, may not be cured. 221. Can there be a better, clearer instruction? Should not be immediately treated with antisori. Nahi dena hai. Maha pe legacy is indicated hai. Lag raha hai. But nahi dena hai. You have to select the medicine from a class of non-antisoric medicine. I'll say mercy dena hai. And then, you have to give the antisoric in highly potentized, minute homeopathic doses in order to subdue it so far that the Sora shall for the time being be go back. After half Alzheimer's, Sora will go back to the latent phase. And then <coughs> you should never think them as to be cured. 222. If you think, so it will never be cured. Now you have to prolong the antisoric. Prolonged antisoric treatment has to be done. If antisoric is not given, then periodic or continued mental derangement, which is then more difficult to be cured even by antisoric. Now, what more clarity you need in your instruction in order to practice homeopathy? And don't we don't you think that these are the mistake that is sure to be made? Hoga, daily life mein hi hota hai. Daily practice mein hota hai. Bed side mein hota hai. We make this mistake. And who loses? <coughs> you may not be losing personally. But lo loser is the person. Humanity. The loser is homeopathic system. Of symptoms, no symptoms nahi mil. But still, you are not getting Other changes, visualizing symptoms, characteristic symptoms. You may use homeopathic medicine in a different way, but homeopathic one sided, a wonderful role to play. We are not so strong, overshadowing of symptoms and the ending where it is today. That will help you. We are not getting an upset. Agar humko ye pata na ho, if I don't know, then I will not go back in the path. I will not trace. I will not trace the individualized. Try to individualize by tracing the past. Patient gives you symptoms. So many symptoms. So many uncommon symptoms. You are so lucky. Characteristic, peculiar, uncommon, thus to. Up kept. Nay mil rata, so there was a different problem. A bohot jada over. Some bohot jada over. Bhagwan ko ka bhagwan chopper par kill. Bhagwan is chopper par. They are not needy, they are coined. All the coins falling on him. You can understand what will happen. So too many symptoms. Now there is a clue. Last appearing symptoms are the most important, whether in proving or in case. 